And there's a concept called digital versus analog. Mm -hmm. And digital being um, you using digital tools such as computer, program, software to... And those are your tools when you create something. Analog is the more uh, hands-on physical touch tools that you use to create. Now, specifically me, I've... In any form of creation, whether it be me making music, um, me uh, and and video editing, right? Very much, I'm like a laptop is my best friend, and I use um, Apple computers. I love that I'm a slave to the ecosystem. I say this all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, do not let Apple take over the world like Skynet, because I will betray the human race. <laughs> the only person I'm going to save is well. All right. The only right. person, the only person that I will attempt to save is you, my wife. Attempt. But just know if they say no, I, at least I tried. Okay. So why would they me. possibly not want to? Well, okay. I clearly haven't watched enough okay. movies. So <laughs> slaves to the Apple ecosystem. Ecosystem. Yes, the okay. ecosystem. So everything is Apple, right? Um. You being a digital artist, you have experience with both of drawing on your iPad and then you can also like sketch on pen and paper, uh, pencil and paper, crayons. You're just very artistic. You can you did like in college wire art and all that stuff. You just are great at art in every form of it. Um, For me. I know there's a thing where. You kind of question is being behind a computer for so long more harmful than good. And for me personally, creatively, no, because, again, I feel like I create more. More things and I create it faster using digital projects, like even when I made music, I wasn't interested in like, you know, the old analog, like getting a tape recorder or um, like. I, I never learned how to play a physical instrument like I love digital tools because I'm a very convenient creative and I feel like we can dive into that same later. same um, <laughs> that's not when you mentioned art I'm like but the iPad has been my saving grace <laughs> like yeah so we're very either we go by either two names of convenient creator or comfortable creators like we just love creating from our um, comfort zone mm-hmm. um so I just love digital products. And now me being behind, being at a computer for long hours, it doesn't affect me creatively, but it affects me physically. And that's why growing up, I've always had lower back issues because of just constant sitting down and me becoming more aware of that. And how can I um, com- combat that is um, we got a standing desk now. So even at work where, now my work is evolved around video editing and I'm at, I could be at a desk all day there at my job and then be at a desk all day here if I'm editing um, our videos and stuff. So I got a standing desk at work um, and I got a sitting desk at home and I also, you know, take the, take moments to walk around, take a break because I, I was always that try hard creative too that. I did not leave that spot until I finished what I started. And it was hard for me to be like, no, walk away from it and breathe and then um, become aware of where you are mentally. Like I was like, I wasn't down for none of that. I'm like, no, I'm I'm happiest when this is finished. Like I was never the type to enjoy the process. I always like the final product and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. I highly relate to that last line not enjoying the process he said enjoying Mm. the final product that's definitely something that I like struggle with I think as a creative just as a person like I do not you know that meme where it's like me I love learning new things and then it's like me whenever there's something new to learn and it's like (laughs) frustrated (laughs) like (laughs) flip the whole table over I don't want to learn new things I just want to be there already um and I think Digitally, digitally being in front of a computer for long periods of time or not computer necessarily, but just a, a digital format of creating, it doesn't affect me negatively creatively. 
but I feel like as like physically, like you said, it affects me. So, um, there's always that part of me that I can't really ignore that we're supposed to not be behind a screen so long, whether that has to do with like our physical health. So like we're meant to be moving. We're meant to still have like active, live active lifestyle to some degree, like fit in movement Mm -hmm. in our lifestyle. So whether that's going for a walk, if you have a dog walking your dog and trying to extend those walks a little bit when you can, you know, um, taking the stairs, (laughs) I will admit I did not take the stairs when I worked in the office, but like just trying to fit in those movements because we're a lot, we live a lot more sedentary lifestyles now where a lot of our movements are just like non-existent. You know, a lot of our technology has automated so many things and made so many things so much easier that Mm -hmm. like we don't have to be over a bucket most I guess in the Western world and like in a very privileged lifestyle, Mm -hmm. you don't have to hand wash your clothes or even like with dishes, you can put your dishes in a dishwashing machine. Like there's so many things that are just so easy for us um, that we kind of have to be intentional with the physical movement of keeping ourselves healthy and moving and active. And then also I feel like mentally how our mental connects to the physical, where, as I said before, like, wanting to go to the park just so that I can breathe the fresh air and like feel the sun on me and go to the beach and feel the sand in my feet and feel the water, you know, the little waves hit my feet. Like being in nature, I know a lot of us, some of us can say like, oh, well, no, that's not for me. I'm not a nature girl. I'm not a nature boy or whatever. And I'm typically not like, I'm not going to sit here and say, I love to hike. I love, (laughs) but I just, I get how like it has to, there's a part of us, our human nature, I think needs to be connected. I want to be nature boy so bad. I know. (laughs) But the only thing, and it's the only thing I know I mentioned before, it was just heat, but it's the only thing. And I cannot stand bugs. I know. That's the one thing. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't like flies. I don't like bees. I don't like wasps. I don't like spiders. I don't like ants. I don't think anyone don't, does though, babe. And I think you can deal with it. No, there are some I ways to get around it because there's there's places that are way less infested with bugs than other. Because remember when we tried to go on that trail, that nature trail, and we went into like this really. I feel like it was this unmarked trail, and we got like five minutes in, and we ran out. Do you remember this? Yeah. We got eaten up by all the flies. Yeah. Well, not flies, mosquitoes. Mm. That was horrible. Yeah. And we tried. I feel like you can deal with heat. You can deal with fatigue. You could deal with like climbing up high mountains. Like you can deal with a lot of things. It's just bugs. So there bugs. has to be other ways to go around that. And especially now that I feel like it's worse now just because we're in North Carolina and not in New York where, um, you know, bugs just bugs do. Bugs start doing workouts the lower altitude you get on the map right so like you know thank goodness we don't have florida bugs but like we're in the middle between florida and new york so i think the bugs out here like are a little jack like even in our apartment complex we have a huge bee problem no the bees are ridiculous and like that is just giving me anxiety like this is the first time we have our own crib right and we got what we wanted we got a balcony for the crib and like I would love to just sit out there with my computer or probably read, but if they bumbling, I'm not rumbling. Bumbling. And I'm going, <laughs> I'm going, and I'm going inside. <laughs> I know. No, we're, no, we're going to have to deck it out with some essential oils, some like crazy stuff. But for real, the bees here are ridiculous. I was walking Ryder the other day, and I don't know if I told you, when I was walking back to like the staircase, I walked into a bee. Like the bee was, I feel like it was just chilling. 